So, uh, you guys probably saw at the end of that part, I got fucking murdered. Oh, wait, I'm good. Woo, oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. This is almost there. We, we 
I was not supposed to beat you, but I did. I fucking beat you, you stupid bitch. Oh my god. Woo! Poor saving. Because, you know, if my PlayStation turns off in the middle of that, I'm gonna be heated. We are saving. Thing you don't need behind. Ah. I can teleport to here? Jesus. You know what? In hindsight, uh, doing that did not make sense, but it kind of makes sense. Good girl. Run like the wind. Way we can do that. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Okay. That was stupid. Huh. All right. Me oh, and there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much. The uh yeah. ruins are just over there. As uh huh. Of course. I'll be right back. In. All right. Let's deal with this because uh, I'll say this: the monster that we just fought ain't shh. Atlas, the dude that we just fought, Anybody is, is not shit compared to this. Oh. Bro, I already took it out one that was like your this time must before. Be our unwanted. Bro, you're about to get mopped. Let's see how fast I can take him out. Yeah. Oh, it's dead. Oh, yeah.
Good night. Too easy. Piece of cake. If I just keep that whole fight in, I mean, like, it was nothing spectacular. Spider Man. I don't know. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported. All right. I'll let Mid know you're all. Wow, was that really it? Because if so, I might just... I mean, once I'm done editing down, I might just add it to the previous part. So, uh, this was not shit. This was pretty quick and simple. Guess it depends how I feel. Right, let's get back to the hideaway. Oh, man! Bro, I thought we probably had a cyclist. I was like, yes! Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prism for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even start it. I need something uh. light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah. Well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Sure. Take him... I'll take right him away. to the old man. God damn it, old man. For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Yep. Please tell me everything you know about this old man. Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? And what are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm, perhaps. It is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine. At timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have, but Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. Mm. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against. So if we could recreate... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, I shall speak to them. And if you would be so the knowledge of the thank you, Harper. And since you're asking others to help you. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients mm -hmm. we need. I could do with some help. And some company to the other can assist me in researching can we count on your aid always well if jill's gay thank you i am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my risk oh i'm bringing some of them so clive who will accompany you 
Well, clearly I'm taking my girl to jail. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Mm. Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction. Hence, moon dews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. Yep. Go! You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Are those pepio nuts? Can... How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things right. we need. We can meet by the gate when we fit. You'll not find a fruit. Not gonna lie. Fresh cuts. Come. This is very exciting. We haven't much, but you're free to look. Hey, bro. Ah, oh, yes. How the hell is anyone supposed to buy, sell? Or be gone. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Hey Jill, I bought the ingredients that were like right there that you could have done as well. Did you find everything? I did. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. Mm -hmm. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? You sure? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. Oops. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? <coughs> was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Uh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Sin. Sin City was a made for Clive. No, I ship it. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. My boy. Going out on a date. How's work on the shielding progressing, Harpocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to 
for your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. Oh. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway. Under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Oak. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work. Of course. My girl out on a date. Clive. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. Hold on. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Yeah, thanks, man. I'll talk to mid. Sid was not a very original uh, dad, not gonna lie. Mid. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid, but you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dart. Displacement stack. Same difference. <laughs> Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Sometime later. Snyder. It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in? Keep it to yourselves, eh? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Bro, I was about to say, yo, I don't have to do this like 30 more times more because I'm killing some. Hey, man, we're going to go see your dad now, right? What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and... Every scrap of soil in the twins turned black. We might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but... Where we can actually live. I'm working on that. 
And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's crap. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, Yeah, man. We're really doing this. Something toes helped him. Please tell me that's not. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, and she. But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Mm. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What, man? My tidings, Uncle. Thank you. My dear boy, my journey to Kavna has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings in, in the free cities, by which I learned the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though, though, there, though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise. Without family authorities will take on into the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how they said it. And the rumors have already reached my friend, and it may not be long before the guild masters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pin you this note. I would like to borrow your man Ga for a moon or two that he might keep watch on this. He might mean a little fellowship ill and warn us of any incursion threat. I trust that you will give this proposal your fullest consideration. You love an uncle, Baron. Trouble in Canva. Well. I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. Alright. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. What is this? I have side quests? Ugh! And I can't even do it.
And you know what? I think it's going to be the title of the video, Sid Legacy. That fits perfectly. Let's pay our respects to Sid and then let's just walk away. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. <laughs> you wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> Wait, you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, man. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> too happy. Too There's happy. a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. That'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad!
Get off! My poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? I'll kill my man, Gav. Yeah? Did you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Now, Airship and me, we're both Sid's legacy, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go to these because, uh, hold on. I think I got a notification on my phone. What is this? Okay. So let's do these side missions and then we're going to end off the part. Where are they? Yeah. Let's do these. No. That's it. Here. Sid. Reckon you might be just a Let's hear it. Yeah, please do. Well, I'm sorry, sir. it's about this Alembic, the lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split. Problem is, it won't always. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid. Sure. And you could get some use out of this alembic too. Proper. So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do. Says gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university. You pour the blackest blight water. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to... And do you know what I found now? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die. I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> I, I, I saw a billet on that. I would have gone myself, but... Well... I'm oh, dirty great balls well, of fame in exactly my forte. I'm just gonna do what I do. Bring out my phone and look and see where right. he's at. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And and a good hunting, eh? Black Blackthorn, this will help. Uh, Blackthorn, you know, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Hopefully it's oh, wow, nothing. we got a couple. You know what? But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Okay. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? What could be wrong with Togor? Oh my god, I have so many to do. Alright, we're just going to do them as we go. Trying to get all these done. And not the fun. Blackthorn. Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. And you might still be doubting your craft. Even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well... Oh my God. showed me something. Something I've and that was a sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you. Nah, no, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. 
How do you get an edge of that shot? And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find. Sharper swords are always, and we can't have our master blacksmith being... Sure a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Yay! I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. Congratulations! I didn't say I was oh, wrong with him. I said something weren't right. He's not been eating me tree. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's butt. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that not been working him too hard. No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things happen different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? He was talking about the sword as well. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely You're sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to... Little wonder, I suppose. There's ah, not many like that come on. as far as the twins, and those that do go straight, which made it nice and easy. Can you tell me who bought it? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons, and, and he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorites. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil. Where... Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... A touch eccentric. I appreciate the warning. I think I can go to that area. Yo, I'm here. Let's talk. Lawsman, I need to ask. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady, she says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and... Hmm... I rather think she might be right. Though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined, and I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I... If we assume that his newfound magics require... It may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the... I don't recall ever seeing any that long. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of... The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida. Even so, good hunting... Yeah. Thank you for the info. <laughs> Let's get over here because I will say this if I can't do these quests because they're all saying I'm going somewhere else, then we're going to end off the park and then we'll take these quests as something else. So we'll do these parts. Then we do these quests when we can. They told me she was building a ship. What a life. That's why I'm here. Shh. some bad news and it's maybe my fault sadly that square turned out to be more of a circle i can straighten it out i swear but i'm gonna need help keeping it from be late for that there you are <laughs> so let me get this straight you forget to pay our lenders what they're due and instead of coming straight to me you get clive to come to you no, we'll dig you out of the hole. The man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan? Well, who needs pa Oh, just Martha. And the dame. We owe three of our most trusted friends Wait, we five all million gil. Each. Five million. Uh -huh. Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see? And, well, I, I must have made some sort of... <sighs> Those legends. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No. 
We're done. And no, you won't. After the king's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our... All right. But that doesn't mean you have to show... Is there anything I can do to... There might be. How's your fancy taking these to mark? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for... When times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than... I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, Rick. Well, you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed... Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> hey, man, you deserve it. Like, you're about to get me in. Well, don't worry. Really? No, I don't. Okay. All right. And now, we're about to see. We can't do any of them. All right, then. So, uh... Well, hey, at least we collected all the quests. So, with that, this is the end of this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy XVI. In the next part, we will be continuing on the game, and we will do more of the main story. These side quests will just be done later. Uh, and, yeah. So, this is Zero King Larry signing out. How about you all like, comment, subscribe? How about you all hit that bell for notifications? And I'll see you all in the next part. Stay safe and stay blessed. Peace.